So I am running the update on a track mode as you saw in my previous video and some people were saying like Final Burn Alpha and MAME games were not working for some reason when you go into these games now uh, they were they were clocked at the higher hertz so for example when I play this you'll see that the emulator is default on the FBA the FB Alpha and the resolution is at 148 megahertz so that's too fast so this is the default and as you see when I launch it it's just going to kick me back out and on a track mode people are saying it's freezing or it's not loading and it's because you're at the 148 megahertz for some of the games so for this game for example even if you switch the video mode to the slower megahertz from 148 to 74 and then launch it's still not going to work because this X-Men vs. Street Fighter game actually prefers the other emulator. So this game, for example, you have to change too. You have to change the video mode like I already did to this, but you also want to change the emulator to the PIFBA. And as you see, let's see what happens when we launch. And there we go. And as you can see, it's running great. Now comes the question of, well, now that I did that, will it work uh, in a track mode? Let me just double check that I have it on default. Yeah. So now the default on this is the, the PIFBA at the resolution I want. So I'm just going to exit without launching. All right, now the moment of truth. Is this going to work? Let's see. E. Wow, would you look at that. Insert some credits. Go ahead and hit start. I'm gonna pick my same, no, I like Wolverine, it's cool too. Let's go to Turbo. So you get the point, um, but just so you know, if I press D, I am in the new menu that I updated yesterday in yesterday's video. As I mentioned, you know, you will need a couple of setting changes for the raise 128 gigabyte image, but for the most part, uh, all the games and the menus work really well. So it will involve some tweaking. I'm sure in the coming weeks or months we're going to have an updated raise image or something like that and I will definitely update you as it comes. I'm also looking at some other attract modes. There's a lot going around right now, some 32s, some 64s and uh, I'm downloading some as we speak. So some people have been asking about repacking this raise image and rehosting it. I don't have any plans of doing that at the moment. If anybody is going to do that, please let me know. Um, as far as like this raised image, it's a great image. I mean, you can play Super Mario Kart 64, you can play a lot of MAME games. Yeah, there are some things that are broken, but I mean, it's 90% of things that work. So, I mean, that's a pretty good success ratio. So, the question is, you know, should I go through all this work that you're doing now? I mean, as you see, it just, it does take a lot more tweaking. If you want to update your track mode, if you want to have all this updated stuff. Um, and if you don't mind tweaking with it, that's fine. But as far as the users just kind of want to set it and forget it, I recommend just downloading Ray's image, loading the image, update your RetroPy, fix your Virtual Boy and your MSX if you're interested in that, and then just play with it like that. I mean, you're, you're gonna get, you have 10,000 games that work. I mean, that's pretty dang good. 
So to me, that's the way to go if you're just looking for something easy and you don't want any headaches. If you like to tweak around and you like to have, you know, really l the latest and greatest and having this massive collection, then by all means do this update. It seems I'm at a point now where I feel that it's a good update, especially after fixing the Final Burn Alpha and the main games, because everything that worked before is working now and you get the upgraded graphics. So to me, it, it is at a point to where it's working and stable. And if you could like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time.